we're back with another one. And this is the Chromebook Pixel versus the Toshiba Chromebook 2 full 1080p. So the Toshiba Chromebook, let's just go right into it. Why am I doing this video? Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is partly for me and partly for you. I'm looking for a Chromebook that is not far away that is affordable and not far away from the pixel because I'm using my pixel a little bit too much I'm taking it everywhere with me and this is too too much of an expensive Chromebook for me to take anywhere and leave my bag on the side and then walk away and do something else this is not something I feel comfortable having with me on every occasion if I had this Chromebook or something in this price range, I could leave it anywhere and then yeah, if someone steals it, you know, I'm gonna feel it, but I won't feel it like if I lost my Pixel. So, now the reason why I'm doing this for you, because this is a 1080p screen, and you wanna see how far away the 1080p screen is from the Pixel. Another thing, the speakers on this is on point, tuned by Skull Candy. So the Toshiba Chromebook 2 got some awesome pixels coming up from the keyboard, just like the Pixel. So we wanna see how good between those two speakers and then we'll go through everything else. So for, for number one, let's go with the build. You have a plastic texturized feel, top and bottom, but the bottom feels much more cheap than the top. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you don't feel like you're going to drop this. Now, the Pixel, cold to the touch, all aluminum. This is a straight up metal build, dense, and it definitely feels good. But I never felt like I was going to drop it. But this is not a, a, a Chromebook I would hand to anyone just like that. So let's go into the screens. 1080p screen versus a basically 1700 screen so um it, it, it it's not even close it's not even close the richness of the pixel is right there but to be honest this is a very good 1080p screen it's not a matte screen it's ips and it's nice it gets bright It gets very bright. I wouldn't say it's 400 nits, but it's right there. It might just be 400 nits, but I'm telling you, this is definitely not a bad screen on the, that 13 point inch display. So with, when it comes to the screen, you can, of course, you give it to the pixel, but you can definitely survive with this screen, especially for a secondary device. Let's go into the speakers it up to about 50% matter of fact let's change up the song a little bit let me move it up okay that's still 50% let's go up that's about 75% That's about 90, 85, 100%. Little distorted at 100%. percent about 75 sounds good 100 percent no distortion now
All right, I'll come back to that. Switch up the song. All right, a little distortion at 100% here too. Alright, let's go to the pixel. Wow. Alright. I think we got it. If you happen to be into laptop speakers, you can definitely hear the pixel is far it, it not not far it is i would say about two notches higher than the toshiba chromebook 2 but man the toshiba chromebook 2 speakers tuned by skull candy you know set up by skull candy whatever the setup was is definitely on point damn good job you can hear that this 200 and seventy dollars, sixty nine dollar, uh, Chromebook in speakers, just speakers wise, is right behind, just right behind, um, the Pixel. So, this is a part of the reason why I'm doing this uh, uh comparison. Now, when it comes to the two webcams, I'm gonna give it to the Pixel a little bit more clearer, a little bit more sharper. Than the Toshiba, but the Toshiba is not bad. But I, I think I've seen better webcams on other Chromebooks, but it's definitely not bad. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, just to sum it up, the keyboard on the Pixel is through the roof good. Um, the keyboard on the Toshiba Chromebook is a little mushy. When you, when you press it in, it just feels like it, the it's not jumping back up you know it's it's like it's a little mushy it's a little slow it's 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 nice it's comfortable in a way and some people may like the way this feels i don't but it's nothing to stop me from making this purchase the trackpad it's a nice trackpad at first touch you'll think it's a glass uh, touchpad because it feels you see it rough slightly rough smooth you hear nothing this is smooth glass trackpad a little roughness you can't hear nothing and i like a little roughness on my trackpad i like this so don't think because it's smooth it automatically better it's towards the person and the way they like their trackpads now i like this trackpad because man this is a well done trackpad but this trackpad in the feel, I like it. Um, if you're doing a double tap, any type of taps, it's it works great. But when you press down, it's mushy. It's that same mushy feeling as the keyboard. So, of course, trackpad, keyboard, everything, Pixel's better. You know, and this is far away from the Pixel. It just don't don't have that same um, rich feel to it like on the Pixel. So, but can you survive with it? Yeah. Do you feel 100% comfortable? No. This might turn people off after they bought it and they feel this button. Because if, if you're a person that likes to press on your touchpad, you may not like that, that this, this Chromebook. But you heard the speaker... The speaker is phenomenal. So if you're a person, you want a budget Chromebook, um, and this is almost budget. This, you know, I call anything 150 to 200 budget, but past 200, you know, now you're going towards the mid range per se. This is definitely above that mid range. So at 260, 250 bucks, this is a definite buy. I would definitely take this. The screen is awesome. The screen, it's all about the screen with this. This is the, this and the speakers. 
So for a person who just want to watch Netflix and who watches a lot of movies and stuff like that, and they use their Chromebook occasionally, there you go right there. So we all know in this comparison video, the Pixel wins, but how far is the screen and the speakers and so forth? I would say the screen is definitely a great 1080p screen, but it's, of course is not behind this one, but it's pretty good. It's very good. The keyboard is far behind, the trackpad far behind, the build is far behind the Pixel, but the speaker is like one notch away or two notches away from the Pixel. So pretty much in this comparison, this Chromebook won't be my backup Chromebook. It's just not there. It is lacking a few features to make it as my backup Chromebook. So I'm still in the hunt. If you guys can recommend any Chromebook to me, and definitely this is the Intel Celeron, and I could survive with a Celeron. I would rather a i5 because the Celerons are coming down so tough that they're not that far away from an i3. So I would definitely have to have an i5. So recommend a Chromebook to me that is about this size or smaller. And the next one I may look at is the Dell. So let me know, guys. Like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.